Hello, and welcome to a new series I'm going to be doing called Hydro Teaches Band Lab, where I <laughs> teach Band Lab to anyone who wants to know how to use it, has it, but doesn't know how to exactly use it, or you're pretty good at it, but you want to get better. I learned from the best myself, so I know how to do a bit or two on it, and I'm a bit of a professional myself. So today we're just going to be learning the basics, how to set up your Band Lab, and what everything is. So let's click the plus down here, and you'll see all these little icons. Let's start from the left. Import track. That is if you want to import any tracks outside, such as background music or instrumentals you may want to take from your phone. Sampler I will not be covering, but it is something that you can loop, and it might be good for if you want to make FNF covers, aka Friday Night Funkin' covers. Voice slash mic is what we will be covering today. It is basically the ability to record your voice. Looper is a loop pack if you want to try to make your own beats with loops. MIDI instruments is what I use to make my beats. It basically uses the piano and a bunch of different instruments that use the piano. I do not use a guitar or a bass, but they are probably used for guitar settings. So let's go to voice slash mic and let's begin. And as you can see, my voice is being heard twice, but you can already hear it. So let's turn the bottom icon down here off. And now that is to be able to hear your own voice while recording, but you can already hear me. So let's just record a little beatbox, well, maybe one of my popular ones. This ain't your fantasy, your only friends cannot save you. So we recorded a little sample right there, which we'll be using for auto-tune measures and other things along the way. But what you basically want to learn first is how to do anything. So what you're going to want to do is to click the X icon to exit out, and you'll see this track here. You've just recorded this. And by the way, to record, click the red circle on the bottom, and if you want to hear what you made, click the triangle next to it. This ain't your fantasy. And if you want to go back to the beginning, you can either slide or click the button next to the red circle. This. So, now that we have our track, slide your finger to the right, and you'll see this track setting. This bar right here, this slider, determines how loud you want it to be. Let's say we want to keep it the same size, so we'll keep it right here. This little dial, I would not normally mess with, but it determines whether you want it in your left or right headset. Now, I'm just going to keep it at zero, because that is both headsets. If you want to mute your track and use a different one, you click the M button, and you can't hear it anymore. Let's say we have two tracks. We have two tracks. And now if we click mute, you'll only be able to hear that one. But if you click the S, which is solo, this ain't your fantasy. You'll only be able to hear that singular track. And you can select as many as you want to hide the other tracks if you don't want to click mute. So you can select both. And you can mute both. And they're both muted. So that is the basic first thing to do if you ever need anything. Now, the main things you might want to be covering before you start are the tempo. I don't normally use the tempo, but if you want to get the tempo of your song, if you're parodying something on BandLab, make sure to find the tempo first. Search up your song and type, for example, if I wanted to find the tempo of All Star, I would type in All Star Tempo. If it gives me the tempo of 140, I would select 40. If you want to go to four, if you want to tap the tempo, that is how many, if you tap, it'll be tapping how fast you're putting your finger. But we want to go to 140. So if we go to 140, you can hear the This ain't your fantasy But you can hear that it sped up my voice a little bit That's what normally happens when you do this kind of things So make sure to set the tempo before you record anything Because then it will speed your voice up or slow it down depending on what you've done And that's not the best option to do So let's go back to having 120 So now that we've done that, let's cover effects FX is that little two letters right there. If we click on it, there's a bunch of effects to pick on. These are all the ones that I made myself, but we're going to be focusing on the ones over here. Punchy Rap basically enhances your voice and makes it sound better. Let's click S to solo our voice. This ain't And if you can hear Punchy Rap's difference, let's go to Punchy Rap and hear the difference between none and Punchy Rap. This ain't your fantasy. You can hear it got much louder. Hypevox does the complete opposite and makes your voice quieter. 
Let's give an example. This ain't your fantasy. It also makes a little muffle effect, but makes your voice much quieter. Only use this if you want to have a quieter voice in your thing, but I recommend other background vocal effects, which we'll cover later. Post tone is one of the main effects I use, and if you hear the difference... This ain't your fantasy, your only friends cannot save you. It provides a little muffle, also provides a little enhancement to the voice. It's what I used in my beatbox against Bad and many other beatboxes I've made. It's a pretty good one to use, but if you want to use something that just enhances, but also makes your voice better, let's go to Scotty Tone. Let's hear the difference. This ain't your fantasy, your only friends cannot save you. It added a reverb, echo, and enhanced the voice. Now, if you're not a big fan of the reverb and echo and just want the enhancement, try out Yachty Filter. Let's hear the difference. This ain't your fantasy. You can hear a little bit of an enhancement and de-noise machine, which basically de-noises any noise background music. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now, Fuzz Star Power is one of the background effects that I use. Let's show a comparison. This ain't your fantasy, your only f It's a good thing to use in the background. So if we go here to our other track, down here, and we set the fuzz star power, and we set this one to, let's say, Scotty Tone. This ain't your fantasy. It might not sound good as it is because I didn't record them on sync, but it used, is used as a background filter. So let's turn this off before we mess it up again and go to 70s Ballad. And that's another one that I use. You, there's a ton of choices that you can pick with effects and you can play along with those yourself to learn more about BandLab, but the main ones I use are 70s Ballad, Yachty Filter, Scotty Tone, and Post Tone for main vocals. Now the second background vocal I like to use is 70s Pop. Let's try to hear the difference. This ain't your fantasy, your only friends cannot it sounds a bit better than the Fuzz Star Power, and I use it depending on what my beatbox sounds like. If it's more hyped up and stuff, I usually use a 70s pop, but a chill kind of performance, I use the Fuzz Star Power. It all depends on what your preference is, but that's usually what I use. Those are all the effects I'm going to cover today. If you want to learn more effects, go on your own time and try to sort them out. They're a lot of fun. Now, the last thing I'm going to be covering in this video is Auto-Tune, or Auto-Pitch. It is the Auto-Pitch setting at the bottom. This you really need to use correctly, or else your beatboxes are gonna be sounding like You look like a constipated dragon with wings. At least my beatbox Sorry here. to out you there, JT, but you fixed your attitude now and with my help. You look like Mason on crack. Yeah. So how to use it is as I said before, if you are remixing a song and not a beat, look up the key. So as I said before with All Stars Tempo, search up All Star Key Signature. You'll find the key signature, and you can slide this little dial to which one it is. Let's say that my beatbox against bad has a D and B key. We have to check to make sure. So let's put the beatbox auto-tune to medium. Light, I would not normally use, but if you want to have a bit of auto-tune, but also have your normal voice, then do that. Medium is for the people who want to have more of those notes being hit if you're singing a song with a lot of high notes or your voice isn't exactly hitting those notes correctly. The one I usually use is heavy autotune, and it's not because I'm a bad singer, but I just really like the sound of heavy autotune if you understand what I'm getting at. So let's go to heavy and let's see if this sounds good. This ain't your fantasy, your only friends cannot save you. Wow. That part did not sound very good, so we have to mess around. So let's do that real quick. Friends cannot save you. So you just gotta play around, and while I don't have the key of this song myself, if you search it up, it'll be way easier than having to scroll through all of them myself. And that's all I really wanted to teach for today's episode. In the next episode, we'll be learning basic beat making procedures, finishing up syncing, and other procedures to do with voices. I'm Hydro, and this was Teaching Band Lab with Hydro. See you all later.